Hello, Todd here again. Today's kitchen assignment is modern kitchen technology. I'm going to use that technology to take an old relic from menus past and rise it up from the ashes back to Providence where it belongs. Now, what I'm going to make is steak au poivre or peppercorn steak. Now, what I'm, I used is my sous vide. You take this. You can set it for 129 degrees for one to two hours. This uh, vessel, fancy as it is, you could just use a pot that is big enough to hold your steaks in the water. Put it in there for an hour and a half, take it out, and then as your steak is vacuum sealed, you slice the bag open, and you take it out, and you sear it. It's glistening. Glistening. Then you take half an onion, a clove of garlic, you saute them in the pan with about a tablespoon or 15 milliliters of peppercorn, fresh ground peppercorn. Seems like a lot, but it makes its way through the sauce, ends up being delicious. You take some brandy and you cook it down, about 30 mils. You take about half a cup of beef stock, cook that down. Add your cream, about a quarter cup. Put it back on the heat. Reduce that. It's a process, but it's all worth it when you cut into this thing. Take your steak, soft as all heck. Okay, and you slice it on the bias. Now you're cutting it into an angle like that. It's to make sure that the tissues are sliced thinly enough that you're not biting with the grain. You watch any cooking show, they'll tell you about this. You slice it on the bias. And then should look similar to this. You take that steak. This steak loves you right now. This cow doesn't even care that it's not here anymore. Get it on your knife. Place it onto your plate you're going to serve it on. Walk, walk, wipe up. And then you take your sauce here, Ooh. you take your sauce should look like it was thickened with flour or something. It's not. You're just cooking it down. It's a process and it's well worth it. You take it and you do what's called drizzling it. You drizzle. Now you don't want to completely cover the thing because you want people to see how perfectly cooked the steak is. And you keep drizzling. There you go. Now, if you don't want anybody falling in love with you, do not make this for them. Because that's what's going to happen. You'll never get rid of them. You'll never get rid of them. Enjoy.